I have it. I finally have the book. I'm so excited to start reading it. Feyre wants to destroy the spring court from the inside. And it's working. Well, Feyre is not messing around with Eonthe. Oh gosh. Lucian is coming with her to the night court. I guess they're friends again. Wow. What an entrance from Cassian and Azrael. Reunited with Reese. Oh. Ugh. Nesta is as fun as ever. No, no, no. Cassian likes Nesta. No. He is way too awesome for her. Do not ship it. No. Cassian, I'll let you sleep in. Let's meet at seven. Feyre, I'd hardly call that sleeping in. She sounds like me. <laughs> She's gonna learn to fly. I've always wanted to fly. So there's something strange and terrifying in the pit in the library. I'm willing to bet that it comes into play at some point. Sarah J. Mash doesn't usually just mention things like that for no reason. I knew Elaine wasn't just spouting nonsense. Two weirdos who call themselves the King's Ravens just showed up. Oh god, they're going into the pit. Huh. I'm a little bit underwhelmed by the interaction with the pit monster. For Narnia! I mean, for Prithian! So they have this plan to disguise Elaine as a human so that she can talk to her former fiancé, but Jurian has gotten there first. Ugh. I am so done with him. Huh. Apparently, Jurian is on their side? Must be nice, must be nice to have Jurian on your side. They're losing. Oh no. Who is the surreal? Oh, I remember. It's that creepy thing that knows everything somehow. Ionthe is back. Dun dun dun. Not the weaver's cottage. Ack, it's too creepy. Clever. Bye, Ionthe. The whole cauldron being able to see them thing it reminds me of the evil eye from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and Elaine has been kidnapped. Am I the only one annoyed by her? Nesta is finally starting to grow on me, despite the fact that her name reminds me of the iced tea brand Nesti, and I keep calling her that in my head. But Elaine is just so depressed that it's hard to like her character at this point. That was quite an escape scene, and Hamlin came to the rescue. Oh, come on. Feyre is going to go look into the Ouroboros without telling anyone, and her and Reese just had a conversation about communicating better. <sighs> Again, I'm kind of let down by the whole mirror reveal. I wonder what I'd see in the mirror. A unicorn? What? Amrin? Betrayed? <gasps> Cassian. Go, Elaine. You stab that evil king. And go, Nesta. You finish him off. 
Oh no. Reese's I love you's. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's dead. He's dead. This book was so good. I'm so glad that nobody died. Not for real, anyway. If the High Lords can just bring people back to life, then why don't they do that more often? I think I prefer Elaine and Azriel to Elaine and Lucian. Oddly, I kind of shipped Nesta and Amran, but that seems completely unlikely. Oh, and the whole Vasa subplot seemed completely random. I'm pretty sure it's setting up for something else because it came out of nowhere and then she barely did anything.